Hey guys, it's Scott with Scotty B Cards. In this episode, I want to talk about Instagram and how you could use Instagram to better your hobby and sports card experience. So jump right into it. Instagram is an app or a website you can access on your phone or computer. And on this app, it's a really big place where you can share basically any photos and pictures of whatever you would like. But other than that, there's other features that are fantastic for card collectors like you and I, and how we can share our collections, buy really rare cards, find really rare cards, and talk to other like-minded people about the hobby and create connections. So I just wanna show you on my phone some of the things that I love about Instagram and how you can leverage it to actually enjoy the hobby more. One thing before we get going, I just wanted to say, if you are a sports card, trading card, baseball card fan, this is the channel for you. We post three times each and every week and talk exclusively about these topics. So hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything. Okay guys, so I am showing my Instagram account right now and I'm kind of just gonna show you why it's worth having and how you can leverage it to really get better deals on cards and to find other cards or other people you wanna to talk to about sports cards. So here's my account and as you can see, you can just post whatever card you want. Here is an Adley Rutschman card I posted just barely. Um, here's Joey Votto Topps Chrome, here's a Mookie Betts Rainbow that I've worked on, and so forth. So it's a good place just to kind of show what you have and to document what cards you've gotten in, what cards you've sold, just to kind of help yourself know how you're doing in the hobby. It's a lot of fun, really. People will comment on it. So this is a Paul Goldschmidt PSA 9 I got, so hit the comments button, and you can see everybody's you know thoughts on the card. It's really, it's really kind of fun. But on top of that, if we go to this main homepage, it's a really great, great place to sell, buy, and trade mainly because there's no fees. eBay, if you wanted to sell anything or buy anything, you're paying that fee. Uh, if you are buying, technically you should be paying sales tax, but that's up to the person that you're, that's selling the card to you. So to start off, here's a Jason Dominguez prospect card. You can see it's a PSA 10, great card. Good place to show off all of the cards in people's collections. You know, here's a bunch of wax. Here's a really cool David Ortiz and other Boston Red Sox, like bat barrels and uh, bat knobs and such. You know, this is actually a hashtag I follow, which we'll talk about later but there's a blue eyes white dragon and you get the idea. Uh, there's just a lot of different collectibles that I follow. So to go back to this Jason Dominguez, it says for sale or trade for PSA 10 Acuna. So I could reach out to the seller and say, hey, how much for the Jason Dominguez? And he can let me know. That's all I have to do is just message him on here. I can also say if I have the card he wants to trade for, we just trade up trade. And as long as he has vouchers from other big accounts or you can trust the person, it's a really great place to use for trades. Make sure you're careful because there are bad people on here just as anywhere that will try to take advantage of you. So that's the first thing. You can really easily buy, sell, and trade. You know, I could go to my page again and I could just list, let's say I wanted to sell this Goldschmidt. I could take this, list it on my page how it is now, but I can also hit this little button and put it on my story and just say, for sale, $100, you know, and put that at the very top and people can message me and see if they wanna buy it, you know, things like that. So it's a really good place to use for non-fee transactions. Obviously you have the PayPal fees, but that's separate. So that's the very first thing I wanna talk about. The next thing is it's really good for breaking. So if we go back to the main part right here on these live at the very top, so right here you can see how there's like lives, uh, you can click on this person he's a breaker and you can see all of the product he's breaking the person i really like to use is left brothers he's awesome left brothers is really great you can see he's posting breaks as we speak all of these are different posts and breaks so here is a 2021 tops inception eight box half case break and you can go to the comments and you can see all of the teams and how much they are so if you wanted to hop in this break you comment the team you want and then when it's full you pay obviously left and when it's full you can go to the live like how you saw at the very beginning and you'll be able to watch the break and then he'll send you the cards. So it's a really good place to find really cheap breaks, really good breaks like Luff Brothers. He's one of the best in my opinion. I've used him before. I don't do much breaking myself because I'm, I just, I'm not a gambling man. Uh, and some people really enjoy the hobby for the breaks, but that's just not me. I always try to save up for a big one card purchase. But anyway, so that's another great feature. One thing that is not really talked about though, is if you can go to like a learning page Let's go to Rocky Mountain Sports Cards. Rocky Mountain Sports Cards, he's one. He's actually been on the channel, it's Brian. He, we did a video on alternative brands, great guy. He actually posts things like this Vladimir Guerrero Jr. like article he made, talking about why he's ready to like take off. So you can scroll through, talks about in his section here, all of the reasons why he thinks he's gonna be great. And it shows all the like, you know, shows all of the increasings and how much it's gone down and why it's a good buy, all these things. There's really good learning opportunities on here. Here's another one, what not to do when buying prospects. You know, you can read everything. Talk about how don't buy the hype because if they get demoted, it'll go down. So Brian's great. There's a lot of channels like that out there. 
Another one I want to talk about is this one right here. I don't know if I can say their name on YouTube just because YouTube might get it taken off. But right here, this one's great uh, just because they post like all the fake BGS slabs, how to tell what's a fake slab. You know, they save that to their account. They have fake PSA slabs, how to tell. And they kind of keep everybody in the loop in the hobby. Here is an article that they uh, put on their story talking about how this lady's husband cheated on her. And so he, she just sold his cards, his Yu-Gi-Oh cards, not knowing they're worth anything. And she got $200,000 for him. So <laughs> it's kind of fun just to have those articles as well. But, you know, here's just another person that is a good one to follow. Uh, on top of that, uh, the one thing that I really like about it, we already discussed it a little bit, is just you can show your PC. It's great to share your PC with others and kind of your journey, and it helps people to really start caring about you. What you could also do is if you can tell a lot of the like, Big Max card box, he's awesome, great guy. We message quite a bit. You know, we've messaged for a long time back and forth and whatever else. And you can actually message whoever and whenever on the page. So not like on eBay, if you want to talk to somebody on eBay, you have to message them and it's really slow. Here you can just click anybody's account and actually talk to them directly. So here's a lot of the people I've been talking to recently. And so you can kind of tell this is all from the last, what is this, eight hours ago? One hour? <laughs> like it's, it's been for like the, today, I've done all of those messages. Uh, but on top of that, one thing I do love about Instagram is you can really find people who have same interests as you. So I found like four or five people that I've talked to a whole bunch about Mookie Bets who collect Mookie Bets like I do. So I created a Mookie Bets chat and that's all we talk about are, like this is what I missed. I missed this, I said I hate missing good priced 101s. And I missed a Mookie Bets one of one high tech, which I love high tech uh, for only 78 bucks. So that hurt. But regardless, we can like give each other advice, talk about really cool things and kind of just show off our collections together. So that's, and like right here, for example, I said, who's gonna pony up to buy this Mookie Bets? And someone bought it. I don't know if it was in this group or not, but someone did buy that Mookie Bets on eBay. I think they paid $4,000 for it. So the point is you can reach out to whoever. Here's another one. I have a trout chat that I have set up. And this one is just a high-end trout chat. I don't have a ton of high-end. I just like to collect a lot of his rookie cards and I got them a while ago, luckily. So I'm able to show those off in here. So that's just another reason why I like it. You can meet other collectors who think and feel the same way as you, which will help you enjoy the hobby more. There's nothing more than my wife hates than me talking to her about cards. She's an amazing woman. I love my wife. But if I talked about cards all day, every day, it's going to kill her. Here's one of my good friends, Red House underscore sports cards. He is in Utah as well. And we send back and forth like cool things that we find interesting. So here's like a Max Scherzer one of one super fractor. And here's like a Patrick Mahomes Blue Prism. I sent him this awesome uh, PSA 10 Sapphire. Shout out to Clay. Clay watches the channel. He, we've been talking about this one in the past. He got a graded just barely. Graded a 10, so that's out of five. Probably Bo Bichette's very best card. And so it, it's just a lot of fun to actually chat and connect with all those other people. On top of that, there's actually like meme pages. A lot of sports card memes, which are really fun. So let's go to, this is a good one. He posts a lot of memes. For example, here's a Monty Ball. <laughs> Here's a Monte Bola Muggsy Bogue switch. He just did for fun. But on top of that, people can just show off whatever they want. Here's a, you know, a meme about fractional valuation companies with fractional companies saying that those comps are legit when they're probably not because they're paying quite a bit more for them because they have a ton of buyers in them and so forth. So and this one's reasons why I collect cards to make money. That's his personal thing. But the point is you can find memes and have a good time. <laughs> Me when an influencer pumps the cards I own. Very true. I have a lot of Mookie Bets on Gary V. Push Mookie Bets, it definitely raised the price of them all. So you get the idea. Uh, overall, Instagram is fantastic. I highly recommend making an account. It's worth it uh, because you can actually find really good people in the hobby and really awesome card deals. I have made more deals on Instagram than eBay this year, by far more, and I'm very glad I did. One more thing I wanna talk about is I wanna talk about hashtags. So if I wanted to look up a specific player, I could go to hashtag Ronald Acuna. Since he's hot right now, I'm sure there's gonna be a lot, but if I go to Ronald Acuna Jr., like the basic one, you're not gonna find a lot of cards. You'll find some. You know, there's Acuna, there's a Ken Griffey Jr. They tagged as Acuna for some reason in the top right. Here's an Acuna black label. But you can also do more. You can do cards. Oops. Ronald Acuna Jr. cards. And it will pull up people who have tagged those so you can reach out to them and try to make a deal. And that's a pretty freaking cool Independence Day, Ronald Acuna. So if I wanted to, I could reach out and say, hey, is this available? And he can let me know whether it is or not. So it's just a really cool place to find high-end cards that aren't always on eBay. Here's a Sapphire Cooney. You can just scroll through all of them. Real one autograph from the minor leagues and so forth. So that's another fun, one fun thing I like to do. I like to follow Mookie Betts 
just because Mookie Betts is the guy I love to collect. So let's go to hashtag Mookie Betts cards and see what pops up. You're gonna see some of my cards. That is my card right there. <laughs> just because I use that hashtag. But here's a 9.5, this was posted two days ago. I could reach out and see if it's available. Same with this PSA 10. This is Card Ladder posting some information about Mookie Betts. Card Ladder is another great company who posts on here. Uh, they give a lot of good information. You know, you have Slab Stocks on here. Shout out to Slab Stocks. Uh, Aaron's a good friend of mine. Nate's a good friend of mine too, but Aaron and I have been speaking for years. But they have a lot of really good information that you can like comment, interact with people on. So overall, it's just a really good place to build community. Anyways, guys, that's all I wanted to show you. If you don't have an Instagram, I highly recommend getting one just because it will really amplify your sports card experience. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I just wanted to show a few really cool things you can do on Instagram and why it can help you enjoy the hobby. Obviously, the hobby is more fun when you're talking to others about it, and this is one of the best places to do that. So go make an account and go message me and say that you're on there, and we can talk and chat and talk about Mookie Betts cards, Mike Trap cards, whatever you want to talk about. Thanks, guys. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you later.